For our lesson on quadratic equations, we have the following learning targets. I can determine whether the given equation is quadratic or not, and I can write each quadratic equation in standard form. Let us start first with the definition of a quadratic equation. Any equation that can be written in standard form, ax squared plus bx plus c, is a quadratic equation in the variable x. Kasi ang x ang ginamit natin na variable dito, pero pwede rin tayong gumamit ng ibang letter sa alphabet, okay? Aside sa x, okay? Paano natin malalaman na a quadratic? Tingnan natin yung highest degree of exponent na 2, okay? And then kasunod yan ay 1, at ang kasunod naman yan ay x raised to 0. x raised to 0 is equal to 1, that is y hindi na siya isinusulat because 1 times c is equal to c. So, hindi na siya isinusulat kasi nga equal sa 1. Now, ang ax squared ay tinatawag natin quadratic term. Ang bx naman ay linear term. At ang c naman ay ang constant term. Palagi natin tandaan na ang a, b, and c ay real numbers kung saan ang a ay hindi pwedeng maging 0. Bakit hindi siya pwede maging 0? Kapag maging 0 ito, 0 times x squared, okay, ang maiiwan na lamang ay bx plus c equal 0 na isang linear equation at hindi quadratic equation. Pwede maging 0 ang b at saka c, pero hindi pwede ang a ay maging 0. Yan ang lagi nating tandaan sa isang quadratic equation. Let's have some examples para mas maintindihan kung ano ang quadratic equation. And at the same time, you are going to uh, identify the quadratic term ax squared, the linear term bx, and the constant term c. Ipapakita natin dito na ang b and c ay pwedeng maging 0 pero ang a ay hindi. Okay. For our first quadratic equation, x squared minus 3x plus 2, our quadratic term here is x squared. Okay? We're in the coefficient of x squared or the value of a here is 1. But since 1 siya, hindi na natin siya inilalagay. What is our linear term or bx? Our bx here is negative 3x. Okay? We consider the... The operation as the sign of the number. Bakit? Kasi kapag nagsasubtract tayo, di ba, we change the sign of the subtrahend. Originally, this is positive 3x. So, magiging negative 3x siya. And then, we proceed to addition. That is why, ay, ang pinakamadaling gawin dyan, ay tingnan mo ang operation as sign din ng number para hindi tayo malilito. Next, ano ang constant term natin? Ang constant term natin ay... 2 or positive 2. Okay. Next. We have here 2x squared plus x equals 0. Our quadratic term here or ax squared is 2x squared where in the value of a here is 2. Ano naman ang ating linear term? Okay. Linear term parating may variable may variable x siya kaya lang nasa degree 1. Okay. Our linear term here is x and wala kang nakitang ibang katabi dyan. So, ibig sabihin yan ay 0. Okay. Ito yung ibig sabihin ko na ang c ay pwedeng maging 0. Okay. Next. We have x squared plus 2 equals 0. Our quadratic term here is x squared. Okay. Meron ba tayong linear term? May kasunod ba na variable x? Wala. So, ibig sabihin yan, ang coefficient ng x or ang value ng b nito ay 0 times x. 0 times x is 0, kaya hindi na siya naizulat dito. Ano ang ating constant term? Ang constant term natin ay obviously equal sa 2. And lastly, we have here, 5x squared. Okay, notice siya lang mag-isa ang quadratic term lamang ang available. So, we have here 5x squared kung saan ang ating a ay equal sa 5. Okay, wala tayong linear term kasi nga ang b natin ay equal to 0. So, we have 0x. And then, our constant term is wala rin. So, that, that means to say 0. 
ito na nga ibig sabihin ko na ang B at saka C ay pwedeng maging 0, pero ang quadratic term natin ay hindi pwedeng maging 0. Okay, let's move on to the non-examples of quadratic equation and let us be guided with this definition. Okay, so, okay, bakit itong equation na ito ay hindi consider na quadratic? Ang unang tanong, ang highest degree ba ay 2? Dito, ang degree niya ay 3. Okay. So, obviously, hindi siya quadratic. Dito naman. Sa unang tingin, makikita mo ang highest degree ay 2. Pero hindi natin nakita na ito pala ay dapat pang i-multiply sa x squared. x squared times x ay ano? x cubed. So, ang highest degree nito ay 3 at hindi 2. Kasunod lamang yan ay x squared times negative 2 is negative 2x squared. So, hindi pa rin siya quadratic. Pangatlo. Okay. We have x plus 3x minus 10 equals 0. Okay. Ang operation in between x at saka 3x ay addition. So, ibig sabihin, combine like terms lang. So, x plus 3x, ang x ay may understood na coefficient na 1. So, 1 plus 3 is 4. Copy the common variable, which is x. Then, minus 10 equals 0. Okay. We only have here the linear term, but no quadratic term. So, this is not quadratic. This is linear equation. Okay. I hope na intindihan na ang quadratic equation. Let's have more examples. So, tell whether each equation is quadratic or not. If it is quadratic, identify the values of A, B, and C, the quadratic term, the linear term, and the constant term. Okay. So, we have here quantity x minus 7 plus quantity x plus 8 equals 11. Now, tingnan natin to. Ang operation na nag ko-combine or nag-join sa kanilang dalawa ay addition. So, ibig sabihin, we simply combine like terms. So, x plus x is equal to 2x. Negative 7 plus 8 is positive 1 equals 11. So, hindi na natin siya ikokompleto pa, no? Kasi nga, kitang-kita na natin na ang highest degree niya ay 1. So, ibig sabihin, hindi siya quadratic. This is not quadratic. So, we will not write it anymore in standard form. Okay. How about this? Kung sa unang tingin, makikita mo na hindi siya quadratic. Pero titingnan natin yung operation in between ng dalawang terms. That is multiplication. So, in this case, we have here a, a binomial multiplied to a binomial. So, nang gagamit natin dyan, ang gagamitin natin ay foil method. Okay? Multiply the first terms. Okay? We have x times x, then we have x squared. Okay, lumabas na ngayon ang x squared. Okay, so most probably, this is quadratic. Then we have x times positive 7. We have positive 7x. Okay, nakikita nyo naman na binabasa ko ang, ang operation, assign din na number para yung end, ending na, na sign, yun din na magiging operation. Let's continue. Kagaya nito, negative 2, yun ay minus, negative 2 times x is negative 2x, yung negative 2x magiging minus 2x para mas madali. Negative 2 times positive 7 is negative 14 equals 0. Okay. We can still combine like terms here. Yan. So, we can still simplify this. We have x squared, 7x minus 2x is equal to 5x minus 14 equal 0. Ito ngayon now ay isang quadratic equation in standard form. Okay. Ano ang ating value ng A? Ang A natin ay 1. Yan ang katabi ng x squared. Ano ang ating B? Katabi ng x or the linear term. So, we have 5. And our C is equal to negative 14. Okay. Ano ang ating quadratic term? Ang ating quadratic term ay x squared. Ang ating linear term ay 
5x at ang ating constant term ay negative 14. Let's have another example. Okay. Ito, kagaya ng nauna, mukhang hindi siya quadratic sa unang tingin, but actually quadratic siya. Now, we have here a monomial multiplied to a binomial, so we're going to apply the distributive property of multiplication. So, we have 3x times x is equal to 3x squared. Okay? So, matandaan nyo sa law of exponents, we have x times x is equal to, okay, when we multiply two terms, two terms, same basis, so we copy the common base and add the exponents. We have here 1 at saka 1, so we have 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. That's why it's x squared. Then we have 3x times negative 5 is equal to negative 15x equals 0. Okay, so this is already in the standard form. Okay, so what is our a? Our a here is equal to 3. Our b is equal to negative 15. And our c is wala namang nakalagay dito na iba. So, ibig sabihin yan ay 0. So, what is our quadratic term? Our quadratic term is 3x squared. Our linear term is um, neg uh, negative 15x. And our constant term is 0. Okay. For our last example, we don't we need not um, rewrite it in the standard form because it's already written in the standard form. So what we are going to do is identify the values of a, b, and c. So we have our a, katabi yan ng x squared, okay? So that is 5. And then ang b natin katabi ng variable x in degree 1, so we have negative 7. And at ang ating c naman ay 1. Our quadratic term ay 5x squared. Ang ating linear term ay negative 7x. At ang ating c naman or constant is 1. Okay? Napakadali. Let's have some uh, practice here. So, what I, what, what I want you to do is pause this video for a while and then answer the given four items. Then, once done, you're going to um, play the video again. Okay? So, do it now. Answer. Okay? So, let us check. Okay? So, what we are going to do in the left side is apply the distributive property of multiplication. So, we have x times x is equal to x squared. x times 7 is equal to positive 7x equals 3x minus 9. Now, kapag nasa standard form yung ating equation, kailangan siyang maisulat sa form na ax squared plus bx plus c equal to 0. So, ibig sabihin, wala nang may iwan sa right side, kundi ang 0. So, ito siya ipang lilipat natin sa right side. So, ito ilipat dito. Ganun din ang 9. So, we have x squared plus 7x. Ililipat natin si positive 3x, magiging negative 3x. Ililipat natin si negative 9, magiging positive 9 equals 0. Na-explain ko na kung, anong, kung bakit nag-change nag yung sign ng operation kapag nagtatranspose tayo. Yun ay dahil sa pag-a-add natin ng additive inverse sa both sides ng equation. So, para ma-shorten siya, ginagamitan natin ang transposition process. So, we have here x squared. Okay? Combine. 7x minus 3x is equal to 4x. So, positive siya. Positive 4x plus 9 equals 0. So, we have our quadratic term here, x squared. Our linear term is 4x. And our constant term here is 9. Our a here is equal to 1. And our b is equal to 4. And our C is equal to 9. Okay? Next. 
So, ito, ganun din ang gagawin natin. Okay? So, obviously, magmumultiply tayo. So, there are different ways of solving this. We may multiply first two to this binomial or multiply binomial to binomial before multiplying it to two. So, I think mas maganda siguro ang idiretso natin ganito na lang. Monomial to binomial, then later binomial to binomial. So, you have here 2 times 3x is equal to 6x. 2 times 1 is equal to 2. Okay, that's the binomial. And then, multiply it to the another binomial. So, we have here 6x times x. So, we have here 6x squared. So, obviously, nagiging ano siya, quadratic. 6x times negative 7, 6x times negative 7 is negative 42x. 2 times positive x is positive 2x. At saka 2 times negative 7 ay negative 14 equals 0. So, we can combine like terms here. So, we have 6x squared. Minus, okay, negative 42x plus 2x, obviously, mag-subtract tayo kasi unlike sign sila. So, 42 minus 2 is equal to 40. Then, copy the common term, that is x. Since mas malaki ang absolute value ng negative 42, kokopyahin natin ang sign ng 42, which is negative. Then, just copy negative 14 equals 0. Ang ating quadratic term ay 6x squared. Ang ating linear term ay negative 40x. Ang ating constant term ay negative 14. So, identify natin yung values ng a, b, and c kasi nga kailangan natin to sa pagsusob ng problems later. Ang a natin ay 6. Ang b natin ay negative 40. At ang c natin ay negative 14. So, dagdag ko na lang ito kahit wala siya sa ating instruction. Next. Okay, ito obviously ay quadratic pa din, kagaya ito ng example na pinakita ko kanina. So, foil method pa rin tayo. So, we have x times x is x squared. Then, we have x times negative 4 is negative 4x. 3 times x is positive 3x here. And positive 3x times negative 4 is negative 12 equals 0. Okay, we can combine like terms here. So, we have x squared. Negative 4x plus 3x is negative 1x or negative x. Minus 12 equals 0. So, ang ating quadratic term dito ay x squared. Ang ating linear term ay negative x. Ang ating constant ay negative 12. Okay, ang ating a naman dito ay 1. Ang ating b ay negative 1. At ang ating C ay negative 12. Okay. So, how about the last item? Ang gagawin natin dyan ay apply the distributive property of multiplication. Multiplying monomial to a binomial. So, x times x squared is obviously x cubed and this is not quadratic. So, hindi na natin siya ipapatuloy kasi alam naman din natin hindi siya quadratic. I hope na intindihan ang lesson natin today. Okay? So sana ay nasagutan lahat ng items. Kung meron kayong mga tanong, huwag kayong mag-hesitate magtanong during our online class. Thank you and good day.